Well, hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for watching another vlog episode of the life of Heath. And so today um, I'm back here at church. And so I want to I try to incorporate more than just fishing and those types of things, DIY. Um, I'm trying just to document other things that I do. And so if you didn't know this, I work um, also full time at our church. Um, Shan and I are the youth, min uh, sorry, the young adult ministers. Um, and I also run the worship and the tech, um, creative team, those types of things. And so today we're going to attempt to get a few things installed and uh, to help out the worship team. Um, we're going to get a click track installed. If you don't know what a click track is, um, really it's it just a metronome, really, you know, do, 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 one and two and three and four and chorus, two, three. So when people are on the stage, you know, when, when I'm playing keys, you know, our drummer, our bass player, our electric guitar, all these guys, we're going to be in sync. Um, for the longest time, you know, we have an in-ear system so we can all hear each other. And I talk back on the mic. I'm going to start incorporating some of that footage um, in the vlog on Sunday mornings. Uh, I'm going to hook it up so you guys can hear what I'm saying to the band while we're playing. Um, but to keep us all in the same timing and just to get better and better and better, um, we have a solid drummer, he's great, but I'm also gonna install a metronome, just a click track, so we can all be in the same groove all the time so that our singers aren't dragging um, or I'm not dragging, our musicians aren't dragging, we're gonna all be on the same page. So let me give you a little lay of the land. So there's our stage right there. Um, right now, the first thing we need to do is we need to come over here and we need to turn on this box right here. This is gonna turn on uh, power to our wireless mics and then of course turning the power on we've got our behringer x32 right here uh, we're going to go ahead and load up our my scene right here scene number 10 hit that boom we are on okay then we're going to go in this room it's kind of a catch-all room we're going to turn on uh, these these guys turn that off and for now, this is all we need to turn on really upstairs to get sound down there. I've got some things I need to work out with the board. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here because we need an open channel for the click track. So I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to exactly where we're going to install this click track channel. I need to find an open channel first before I can figure out where to plug it in. Let's go downstairs. We got our three amps here. We've got our highs, we've got our mids, and we've got our lows down here. Today, here's what we're working on. I got a direct box. This is a Pro D2. I've got a little doohickeys here different cords and things like that i've got a variety of things to see what i can do to make work but basically here's my station on sunday morning i've got my audio box this is presonus um i got my computer this has all my sounds on here so you can see i build out the sounds for the different sets boom this is my talkback mic i'm not actually singing in here i'm actually talking in here talking to the band and i am on channel 11 the red channel red mic red channel um all right we got my uh power play behringer p16 right here so this is what we use to adjust our personal mix and so i'm the key i'm keys so i'm channel six as you can see i got myself all the way up i got my drummer my bass player one electric guitar two electric guitar keys grand piano uh we got the trumpet right now this is the channel i'm probably going to use for click track um what else? What else? I've got my talk back. I've got singer, 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 and 16 is talk back. So the guys at the soundboard can talk to me directly on channel 16. Of course, I got that all the way up. But today we want to install a click track. I'm going to be using my cell phone to program um, the metronome for each song. And I'm going to be plugging this in to my iPhone. Here's a quarter inch. The quarter inch is going to go into the direct box. The output right here, we're gonna take this output and I need to find a channel, an open channel for that. 
I'm not exactly sure which channel I'm gonna be able to use in here. Ugh. I don't know. We gotta think about this for a minute. What's nice is I have my iPad here, so I'm able to actually look at the soundboard and see what we got going on. So I don't have to like do stuff here, test it here, and then like run all the way upstairs, all the way up there and look at the soundboard. I can do a lot of the basic things I need to do right here, like test signals, you know, mute, unmute, that type of thing, um, which is a nice tool. So I got some more things out. Uh, I've got some XLR cables here. I'm not exactly sure. As of right now, I think I might be going from here to here. I might be using this snake bro right here. We have our, we have half of our choir mics on this snake and this snake goes under the stage to our um, big box over there and we got another snake over there. So I'm gonna see if I can get away with getting a signal just from this area to there and test it out and see what we got going on. As you can hear, we've got click track going. All right, so let's do a quick rundown. This is really for me too, so I remember. But uh, I went ahead and we've got an open channel 13 right here. And so I, or sorry, 13, 31, man, I got issues. I went ahead and labeled that for our click track. Um, that's all the way down in the house, right? It's all the way down in the house. So we've got over here in our routing, our P16s, we've got 13 channels on our P16. Um, so I went ahead and took channel nine. Oh, you can't see that. I took channel nine, made it the click, made it a direct out, right? Channel 31. So we're 31 here on the board. We are 31 here, direct output signal. So on our alternate P16, do you know my little in-ears? I basically told it, hey, channel nine, I want it to give me channel 31 from the board, which is the click, and I want it post fader. So post fader means if the sound man up here is doing this, that's not going to affect my my actual in-ear mix. I have full control over that, so I made it post fader. All right, looks like our in-ears uh, for click track is set up. Um, we're going to keep that unmuted, but down in the house. Everything else looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over here to scenes. And we're gonna, this is my scene, my Sunday scene, Heath. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this. We're gonna save. It's gonna say, do you wanna overwrite? Yes, I already took a backup, so yes. Boom, we're good to go. All right, that should be that. So that's about it for the day. And um, yeah, so we got click track incorporated now, which seems like a pretty obvious thing to do, especially when you're working with bands and and uh, worship teams and stuff like that but um we haven't had click track we've always you know we've had in ears and we have all that but uh you know not everybody can play with the click track and so sometimes bands and worship teams are a little hesitant to incorporate a click, click track because it it really keeps everybody accountable um and you can it, click track really uh helps you see who is not on tempo and so a lot of times um, people can be hesitant to incorporate a click track. But if you do incorporate a click track, um, those who aren't used to playing with a metronome or something like that, um, they usually adapt quickly, musicians, and it makes the whole team and the whole band um, better all around. So uh, you're probably watching this, you probably uh, came to this channel because you're interested in kayak fishing or fishing or something like that. but. I'm adding these vlogs in the Life of Heath series so that you guys can <clears throat> also see other things I do, building websites, uh, working at the church, um, the kayak rental business, and of course fishing and DIYs and unboxings and all those types of things. Um, but anyways, yeah, we knocked it out, we got it done today, and now I just have to train the guys upstairs um, on the changes that I made so that I'm not the only one who knows how to do it. And that's another good tip. Um, whenever you're working with teams or things like that, you shouldn't be the only one who knows how to do everything. Um, the only guy or girl who knows how to fix something or to um, whatever that was you know, added, 
you shouldn't be the only one that knows how to do it. You should teach somebody and train other people um, who are on your team to be able to um, break it, fix it, change it, all of those things, just to make everybody around you better. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this vlog. I appreciate you guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.